Okay, Ash, Professor Oak said that you need to start catching more Pokemon. Gary already has 45, and you only have Pikachu and a Squirtle. Aw, what is it? This Pokemon is a Rigby, a grass type Pokemon. Special power is cute. Oh my god, it's adorable. Well, go ahead, Ash. Catch it. Prove that you're this great Pokemon trainer. Dude, why are you even the main character? You literally have no character development and you literally don't age. It's weird. I'll do it. Rigby doesn't like to be in Pokeballs. He likes to be picked up. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess I got a new Pokemon. Ash, that was really easy to catch. You're horrible at this. Since you answered that question, Pokedex, tell me what the hell that is. Snorlax. No, 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 no. Not that one. That one. If it wasn't water weight, could I do this? Nico Avocado, a sedentary Pokemon. Special power is constantly eating to gain weight and then perish. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Okay, go on, go ahead. Come on, little Pokemon, take it. Here. Come on, little Pokemon, take it. Here. Okay, get on, sit down. Yes, good boy. Oh. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. But if you're new, my name is Michelle McDaniel. I'm a personal trainer, a proud mother of a pug, and a chihuahua, and a second chihuahua. Yes, we have three freaking dogs now. Three freaking dogs. It's a new show. It's coming. Or should I say we have three different Pokemon now? I don't know, I'm trying to stay with the theme. But welcome to my channel. This is little rambunctious Rigby. And yes, he is Rigby from a regular show. He's got the hat and everything. So if anyone is upset that I related Nikocado to Snorlax, I'm sorry, because you're right. He's nothing like Snorlax. He's bigger and grosser. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so what's going on over here? Where are you going? Okay, we're going downstairs. And we're back without Rigby, but with the original Pokemon. Butters is on the ground macking. Okay, so I do not know what came over my five foot two hobbit little body's brain, but I decided to waltz on in into TikTok, which I'm never on because it's weird. And not only do I get on TikTok, I go to Nikocado's TikTok. And holy, is it a different level of TikTok. Nikocado Avocado, slim trim vegan to morbidly obese eater of literally everything. And his TikTok where he has over 1 million followers is <laughs> just a treat. Like watching Pokemon in 1999 on Saturday morning. He screams, excuse me, all you peasants. He dances. He jiggles. Does it look like I actually acted out gaining 250 pounds? And he does this. Obviously a man of culture. And so I want to experience what one million people obviously enjoy and experience on a daily basis. Like a pillow on my face. No one can hurt or invade my space. I still walk the streets with my head high. And though I wonder where I be, if no one had helped to remember me, I know my own will has got me through. 143, 143,000 people uh, said, yup, I love it. Captain Cholesterol. <laughs> Cancer just around the corner. So apparently he actually announced on YouTube that uh, he had cancer or has cancer, might have cancer. And in that video where he announces that he might have cancer, 
he eats Carl's Jr. So that might will turn into a for sure cancer announcement because unhealthy food like that doesn't help the cancer situation. So people were very upset about this and said that he was canceled. And he said, nope, and posted a video. I'm at the hospital with a gut delicious my 600 pound life type thumbnail. The video was odd as usual. He sets up his camera in the doctor's office and goes through this wannabe sympathetic montage like the day in the hard life of a morbidly obese beast man who literally put himself in this situation. He sits on the exam table, screams, poses some more in his freaking crocs, and then cries. This is horrible. Uh... Okay. We don't need more of that. Anyway, people were very pissed that he was joking about the whole cancer situation. I don't know if he has it. Y'all don't know if he has it. Only he knows if he has it or not. Who am I to say? No. He's lying, as if it's a fact. I mean, he is, so he could have cancer. I think it's just that we all know that Nikocado, Avocado, or whatever the hell his name is, is, uh, he likes attention. He's literally wearing Crocs, shirtless, with goggles, on a rascal. He is the kid in class that does the most obnoxious things, and when people will still not recognize his existence, he screams. Uh Apparently in my other video, you guys said that he admitted that this is a whole experiment and he is just gaining weight to see how many people watch him gain all this weight. Last month I made a YouTube video and I said, I'm two steps ahead. My life on the internet is a big social experiment. But then he says, oh, I saw another one today, had 13 million views. Nigga Khan, who's played us all, he's an evil genius. Oh my God. I literally typed that out. It's not even real. Does it look like I actually acted out gaining 250 pounds? Gaining 250 pounds? I just acted out. This is all just an act. Let me just rip off my fat suit. I could, I can't believe my eyes how bored, uneducated, and just easily tricked people are. This is so ironic that wasn't even real. Gaining weight? for clicks and to fool people? Oh, pl trust me, you don't mean that much. I, I don't care about you that much. I really don't. I'm gonna waste six years of my life gaining weight to entertain you. I don't think so. I mean, that is what he does, right? I don't know. People are fighting about it and saying he was being sarcastic. Others are saying he was not and he's exposed. I just think it's weird and gross. But people were very upset that he was joking about himself having cancer or like not joking that he had cancer, but he was making jokes about the cancer and his situation. But he came back and said, well, the jokes make him feel better. Like he feels better about his life if he jokes about it. Comedy is the best medicine, I say. And you guys already know my opinion on this. I joke about everything. Nothing in my life is off the table. I joke about everything. If you don't find something funny, the, uh, the easiest solution to that is to not laugh. Very simple. Especially if he does have cancer. What's the best way to deal with this? I guess make a joke about it. I had someone a long time ago say, you shouldn't joke about PCOS and endometriosis. It makes me feel bad. And what does that mean to me? What do you want me to do? Catch you in my Pokeball so you can go into a little safe space? You got legs, leave. Or if you are immobile like Nigo Avocado soon will be, then roll on out. But anyway, I didn't want to watch a lot of these videos in detail because one, they're extremely long and it's just him eating loudly. And you know my whole situation. Don't like the eating loudly, so I choose not to watch it. It's nasty. But according to his pinned comments, he is curing his cancer through something called the grape diet. That doesn't seem to be going too well because two days after he was at the heart attack grill. I have to ask though, what the fuck is the grape diet? Please don't tell me it's just eating grapes and that's it. I just have to type in here and see if the grape diet cures cancer. Is there any scientific evidence? Available scientific evidence does not support claim that a diet of grapes is alone effective for treating cancer or any other disease. Okay, but what is it? Eat grapes for every meal. No wonder he quit and rolled his way into the heart attack grill. I would quit too. There's absolutely no limit to how much you can eat, but try to eat at least 1.5 to 2 pounds of grapes a day to avoid feeling famished. I guess you might be full, but you're also going to be freaking tired of grapes. Okay, well that 
that's that, let's head back to TikTok. But first, tiny little break about my Pokemon party that I hosted that I'm forcing you to watch. So if you guys don't know, I absolutely love to throw themed parties and this time was a Pokemon themed party because we didn't tell any of our friends about Little Rigby so we wanted to play Who's That Pokemon? It was kind of like a reveal party for our new little family member. One thing I said I had to have was a very large Pokeball chocolate cake for my centerpiece for my spread. My boyfriend used to be a baker so he constructed did the whole thing for me while I set up the house and got together the games where my guests will fight to the death. But the cake was so cool to watch my boyfriend make, he put a lot of work into it, and it was his first time working with fondant and a cake that size. So I set up the game table because I always have prizes for after the games, which I will show you in a minute, but I was also in charge of getting the Squirtle Squad ready. They absolutely, uh, hated it. So we got a lot of food Nico Avocado probably would eat, but we only do this on occasion. Unfortunately, my boyfriend said he overbaked the cake, which sucks. I really wanted to like cut into it and eat it, but it was still a very nice centerpiece. So I just made Pokeball cupcakes, red velvet, vanilla, and lemon so that people can still eat a Pokeball. Fruit snacks, chips, red, yellow, and black licorice. And what's a party without party bag? I put little Japanese snacks for everyone to enjoy. We had two Pokemon show up. Also remember when Brock would make these and remember when the dub version called these jelly donuts because Americans only eat jelly donuts. These donuts are great. Jelly filled are my favorite. So I guess we had jelly donuts, but these were filled with salmon, cream cheese, and cucumber, not jelly. You know, I can't blame Japan. People like Nico Avocado make us seem that the only things that we know are jelly donuts. Anyway, one of our friends brought little Pokeball cheeses and our other friend made these beautiful Pokemon themed drinks. I don't really drink at all, but I had to. Look at them, they are so pretty. I had the Squirtle one. It was so good, you guys. I want it again. The couple dressed as Pokemon were the ones that brought the drinks and the cheese. Also, my boyfriend did a Misty gender bin. His quads look amazing here. And now it's time for the game, the death match. I got a bunch of candy for the mini prizes, but the big prize was the Pokemon badges. And the bigger prize was supposed to be Muscle Chew, but I ended up falling in love with him and I kept him for myself. So for the games, we had a drawing contest, which I judged, then a sculpting contest, which I also judged. Then the last one we played was who's that Pokemon where I got these buzzards from Amazon and I would yell out facts about my dogs and they would have to guess which one it was. Get it? Who's that Pokemon? Oh, before I forget, this was a subscriber turned client turned me inviting her to my house because I found out that she was also in San Diego. So it was Easter. So I got little tiny Easter eggs with tiny little Pokemon in them and put them around my house, which people thought were extremely dumb until I told them that there were little Pokemon trinkets in there. And then all of a sudden they wanted to Easter egg hunt. But anyway, these were the rejects. No one <laughs> wanted them for some reason. And that was the end of the party. Like I said, the purpose was to introduce Rigby, make it fun, and make sure that little Riggs gets socialized and loves people and lots of cuddles from friends. And he did extremely good. He's letting people pick him up, sitting on people's laps, sprinting around crazily. I mean, that's why we call him rambunctious Riggs. And Butters absolutely loves him. All they want to do is play, chase, and wrestle. And Yoshi could care less, because she a real G. And now, back to the show. <laughs> I made him do that. Raise that roof, raise that roof. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't believe in salads. Yeah, I don't think you had to announce that. Actually, salads can be super high in calories. I would know, okay, ranch? I've seen this chick around the interwebs quite a bit and I rarely ever see her standing up. That roof, we basing the... <sighs> For obvious reasons, the weight issue. <sighs> I don't believe in salads. Do you know? I know you don't. And I don't either. Actually, I've seen her in the thumbnails of so many of Nico Avocado's videos. Extreme Fire Noodle Challenge. The Boot Layer Italian Bistro. Heart Attack Grill with Hungry Fat Chick. Pizza Box Challenge. Massive McDonald's Feast. Chick-fil-A, where they make out through a Chick-fil-A sandwich and she's sitting in all of them. Oh, she's standing in this one. Time for a weigh-in. So in this video, they weigh each other. Nick now weighs 360 pounds. 360.0. I'm not too sure if that showed he gained or lost, but they were really excited about it. But I noticed from the female in the video, there was a lot of just heavy breathing from those few steps and limited amount of time of standing on a scale. What have I done? <sighs> Like the struggle to raise her foot onto a 1.5 inch little platform was thick. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh. 
Oh, no, she's still here with us. Here we go. Hello. Okay. Sure. Okay. I personally don't want to imagine how hard it is to walk up a flight of stairs for her if a 1.5 inch step is having her breathe like that. But anyway, she weighs 442 pounds. 445.2 pounds. And I'm not the only one questioning why they are so happy about this. Why are they clapping about this? This isn't good. What are they proud of exactly? Are they playing Who Dies First wins? Also, his new signature thing is just shaking and walking. And just walking and shaking. And being angry and shaking. Shake walking, I guess. And then he starts beating up food. Also, because I don't watch him, he's on oxygen now. Carpet. He's he's on a Tammy Slayton uh, level. I'm sending this to the police. I asked for extra cheese. So there's this bit that he does where I think he's making fun of the fat acceptance people that demand every store to carry every single size ever. I'm bad. They don't carry anything in my size in this store. And it's a discrimination. And when a store doesn't carry, you know, X, 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 morbidly obese X size, they complain to the manager. This store is about to get sued because they don't carry X, 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 L. Because the manager can just, you know, magically whip out an X, 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 morbidly obese death fat, they call it, size for their ass. He's got a few where he's walking in those fucking Crocs. And this is exactly how I imagine the fat acceptance people stomping into Walmart demanding that there's a um, death fat size for them. Th that's not my term. That's an actual term from the fat acceptance movement. Death fat. You're welcome. Look it up. It's stupid. Look at all these disparities. I feel misrepresented. Where's the plus size? How am I supposed to fit into this? Honestly, it's very accurate. A piece of cloth? Can't even put this over nothing. It's like 100% accurate. I give an A plus. This is exactly what happens when one of those entitled fat chicks can't find their size. A grown up ass temper tantrum. What do you give, Yoshi? A? Okay, cool. If this is not the perfect representation of the fat acceptance community, I don't know what is. A fabulous representation of how absurd this community is from a very absurd individual. Well, I'm all caught up on Nikocado Avocado. I have learned absolutely nothing of value. I wasted my time, but I feel a lot better about it because I also wasted yours. I'm still very curious as to how he has a million followers, but I guess I will probably never have my answer. So to that, I will see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I asked for extra cheese. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex zone.